satisfying your sweet tooth with my grandma's famous red velvet cake. I am getting this half sheet tray ready for the red velvet cake batter. On the bottom, I buttered it, then I put on a piece of parchment paper, and then right over the top, buttering that as well. Now, I've got two sticks of butter in my stand mixer here with a cup and a half of sugar. I'm just gonna cream them and get them ready for the batter. All right, while that's creamy, I'm gonna start building up the color of this red velvet cake, and that's by way of two ounces of red food coloring. There is no red velvet cake in our family without some cocoa powder in it. That's what makes it a red velvet cake for us. Three tablespoons of this cocoa powder. That thing is creaming for its life over there. Wait, hold on, let me turn it down a little bit. <laughs> All right, relax a little bit. All right, one tablespoon in, two more to go. So we've got uh, three tablespoons of cocoa in there and just a pinch of salt. What we wanna do is kind of build a little bit of a slurry before we add it to the creamed butter and sugar. This is just one of these things that I love from my childhood and now you can have. All right, so we got the slurry started right there. What I wanna do is build up the rest of the wet ingredients. First things first, a cup of buttermilk are gonna go in here. And this, this is the key to some moist red velvet cake, a cup of buttermilk. Now to that, I'm gonna add two eggs. So a teaspoon of both vanilla extract and our white vinegar go right in here. I'm gonna whisk that together. And that is going to be our wet ingredients to build up our red velvet cake. All right, by now, this is good to go. Nice and creamy. You're gonna totally notice that the color of your butter and your sugar have kind of melted together and become a really pretty fluffy white color. Get this over here, I'm gonna start working in some of our wet ingredients. First things first is the red food coloring along with the cocoa powder. Like I said, no red velvet cake without some cocoa powder. So just get that right in. And I wanted my red velvet cake for graduating from high school and she hooked me up. Thanks, Grandma. All right, so this is all incorporated into our creamed butter and sugar. Next, we wanna add the buttermilk for moisture, the egg, the vanilla, all of that right in there. And don't forget the vinegar. And that's gonna get mixed in as well. All right, so there we go. We've got all the wet ingredients mixed in. Now to that, I wanna add two and a half cups of flour. Get that in there, level off. Also, the joys of making red velvet cake, red fingers. <laughs> all right, that's gonna be one. In, poof, poof, two. And then where is my half? Gonna get that in right now. And then just lightly combine. You don't wanna over mix this. We're not making bread, we're making cake. All right, and then the baking soda, we're gonna do a teaspoon and a half of that. We're steps away from making grandma proud. Feeling good. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna incorporate this all together. All right, so this is coming together. What I'm gonna do is bring it right over here. Remember, I buttered the bottom, put some parchment, buttered the top. I'm gonna spread all of this red velvet cake batter right out onto it, and this is what we're gonna make our layers out of. Yeah, just one sheet pan. We're gonna start on my grandma's frosting for red velvet cake. Now this is a frosting in a way I have never seen made before. I am so used to creaming it up in a kitchen mixer right there. But um, this is on the stove top. And a lot of people say this is the more classic way to make a frosting for red velvet cake. So we've got two sticks of butter right in there. I'm gonna bring up some flour and some sugar. And we're gonna add in five tablespoons of flour to our butter. I just wanna get in a cup of sugar. Yeah. Now to that, I just wanna add a couple of drops here of vanilla extract. And that's it. Can you believe it? This, all I'm gonna do is work it out. You know what, get a whisk. That's gonna really help you incorporate everything together. And this is gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. It's gonna thicken up and this is going to turn into our frosting. Now to that we're gonna add a cup of milk that's gonna bake it nice and creamy. Unbelievable, frosting on the stove top. Never heard of it in my life, but let me tell you, like I said, first time I made this recipe took me right back to grandma's kitchen. All right, so we're gonna whisk this together, get it nice and thick, it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. 
Now remember my grandma's frosting for her red velvet cake. Let it cool after it starts to thicken, which takes about mm, 10 to 15 minutes, and it's perfect for frosting. Look at our cake. It's moist too, it's nice and cool. We put it in the sheet tray, first layer butter, parchment, then butter again, then batter, and that's gonna help it come out of this without a hitch. Peel back the parchment very gently to reveal the moistest red velvet cake you will ever eat in your life. Thanks, Grandma, for the recipe. All right, so now we're gonna cut this into four even strips. This is a great presentation when you bring it in, so just judge the middle. Go right down, the middle again, right down, and the middle right here, so we'll have four layers of red velvet cake. You tell me, if you bring this to a party, if people don't stand up and cheer, I don't know what kind of friends you got. I can't help you out. I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, so first things first, I'm gonna drop some frosting down on our first layer of the cake and then sprinkle over some chopped pecans. Just get a little bit on. And now this is gonna thicken slightly as it sits, which it should. Let it sit for just a little bit. And this is gonna be so good. Remember, I told you I've never made frosting like this before in my life, and if you haven't, you gotta give this a try. Still a little bit warm, so it's nice and pliable. Sprinkle over some chopped pecans, not walnuts. Yeah, this is my grandma's recipe. And then that's layer number one. What I wanna do now, get on layer number two. Very easy to do. One and then two, look at that. Let's go into the red velvet cake. Look at this, how beautiful it is. Remember with the two ounces of our red food coloring, the cocoa powder to make it the true grandma's red velvet cake and we've layered it up with love. Look at how beautiful that slice is. 